In this tutorial, I'll show you how I export this model and render it in Keyshot. So because this is an alpha map that's creating all these textured tears, you must remember if we look at flat surface, you can see the end is actually here. But because of the alpha, it looks like it's all torn up all over the place. So because it's using an alpha map to make these textured tears, we can't use any thickness when we export. Because if we do use thickness, then we'll get an ugly line here on the rim where the actual cloth ends, not where our torn texture ends. And that will give it away and make it look really fake and really ugly to suddenly have a rim line around here or around here suddenly. So I'm going to go File, Export, OBJ. And you can deselect if you don't want to export the avatar. I do, so I'm going to leave that checked and leave that checked. I'll say multiple objects and thin, not thick, because thick will give you that ugly rim. And I'm not going to say unified UV coordinates either. I'll leave it at centimeters, save with texture files, OK. And then here in Keyshot, I'm going to go File, Import. Now it's a zip, so we have to first unzip it. So I'm going to copy this path, go to my Explorer window, and extract it. And then once it's extracted, we can go into that folder and load in the OBJ. It's centimeters by default and all these settings I leave like that. Import. There she is. Now Keyshot does not read the alpha map like MD does, or MD doesn't export it in a proper way for Keyshot to read it. Whichever, it always comes in with this kind of white or gray color. So I'm going to double click this dress. And here's the material. I'll go to Textures, double-click the opacity, go to Recent Places, and load in the same texture and the opacity. And now it vanishes completely because it's set to color. So I'll change that to Alpha. And it's at Sync. I have to put it at UV coordinates and make sure that this one is set to Sync too. Now, for some reason, Keyshot reads it and puts all this gray stuff around. So I found it's actually easier on the color to simply load in the um, burlap texture, seamless texture. So I'm going to load in a burlap texture I made. And then scale that down, of course, and turn off sync. And just scale that down much smaller. And then we don't have those gray things around, like, for some reason, with the texture it was. And it's a bit too small, I think. I'll make it a bit bigger. Something like that. And then I want to change the color, so I'll go to Properties, Blend with Color, and I'll select a green, maybe, or sort of to make it brownish looking. I think I'll go for green. And then we have to repeat the same thing on the back. I'll double click it. And on the opacity, I'll load in the same texture I made for, for the dress. And set that to, first of all, UV coordinates and alpha, sync and sync. And then here I'll load in my burlap. And let's make the scale the same, so I'll double click on the front one and the scale was 0 0.26, 0 0.126 and then I'll just unsync that and then paste that in. Then it should be the same scale and I'll also blend it with the same color. So usually once I have a color I like, I just grab it from there, drag it and then drop it into my palette. Alright, so there she is standing in her torn up garment. If we wanted, we could also add a normal map, but I don't think it's necessary. I want to change the background to be more dramatic, so I'm put, going to put a color, black. That looks nice. Now the lighting is of course terrible, so what I usually do is I do edit HDRI in HDR Light Studio. 
And for this I want something very dramatic, so I'm going to put a bottom light. And then I'm going to make a side light. And lower the power a tiny bit and duplicate that one, something gentle for the other side. And I'm also going to give it a greenish color. And then once I have something I like, I'm going to press render, browse, give it a name. Leave it at Live Light as the host, and then say Render, and then shut HDR Light Studio. And in fact, I don't like how the cloth is hanging like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the front, give it a name here, and then say Save to Library. And I made a folder for myself where I keep my fabrics. And then I'll say OK. I'll just say Cancel now because I saved it before already. And then you'll see, here it is. Now I'm going to go File, Import. Click on the OBJ, add to scene. Update geometry never works for some reason because every time I export it from MD, it, I don't know, doesn't give it the same exact name or something, and then it doesn't work to update it. Import. Now there's two of them. And what you could do is you could shift left click on this green dress and shift right click on this one to apply the same fabric. Or you could drag and drop a fabric from the library. And then I'm going to hide the other one, and then just deal with this one. I'm also going to load in an HDR, which I made before, and rotate it around. Lower the brightness a bit, raise the contrast a touch, until I get a nice dramatic result. And then when it's finished rendering, I simply click the screenshot button down here and then give it a name and save it out. So that's how I bring in my models into Keyshot, apply the opacity maps, colors, textures and render them out. I hope it helps you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tutorials and like and share with your friends to show your support.